when your goals and dreams are deleted by your daily reality, diminish its visibility to a finish. Drastically, I shake in disorder, but my discomfort enjoys no company, just compassion for my own disoriented compass. I may just have confused my own chaos with opposite reactions, because in reality, misery loves company. Emotional purgatory, drowning in clouds of consciousness, staring at a white wall like it owes me something. But I shall not explore externally what it is to be so down as the world around me only deserves dance. Looking for motivation and inspiration, but my perspiration shows my search has come to an end. Undeniable radiation resonates through me while I move. I lose control when the music soothes me. I dream of a better me, dedicated to delight and consumed with no commotion, just delicious commitment of one's self. I have declined my invite to the pity party. I rather partake in favorable fiestas that include all things love. When you find yourself creating hallways of explanations, find the question. When you find yourself in self-sickness with no illness, question your mental mayhem. Maybe your memory needs to be made clean of past pursuits and reset for refreshed open-minded maybes and might-nots. Maybe, just maybe, I'm referring to my own rebellious soul. And maybe, just maybe, I'm requesting you obtain my referrals for future righteousness. Regardless, go where the heart is and you shall prosper. But prosperity is secretly lurking from a distance instead of openly adjusting to my present-day paranoia. I seek prosperity as much as it seeks me, but I also defeat me and deplete me. So withdrawn from my body, I'm a spirit minus the free. Staring at myself from a shadow's distance, a stalker's witness, I can't allow my strength to hone in for some odd understanding. I'm sitting, I'm standing, I'm flying, I'm landing, I'm talking, I'm taking, I'm giving, I'm making, I'm looking, I'm debating, I'm typing, I'm creating, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm happy, I'm mad. As beautiful as self-reflection can be, it also belittles my self-esteem, especially when I know I shouldn't feel so full, I can't help but to pull and pull. I'm melting, demons eating at my flesh, meat fresh. Save me sanity, save me sincerity, save me serenity, save me empathy, save me sympathy, save me. Save me from this so-called depression and decrease my magical madness into delicate drifting dandelions called today. If I may say so myself, this selfish act of actions demonstrated via verbal vibration has already created a creation of less counting in my cranium. Therapy. Thank you so thoughtfully and continue to thrive within my thoughts throughout these thorough happenings. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. Don't medicate, meditate. As I mediate my moments through yesterday, I mention to myself about tomorrow's importance. I look forward to it, so I stopped looking back and found out I was no longer fronting. Hmm. Some people run from change, but those coins add up, so I'm running to the change, because every penny counts. To be patient properly, one must carry optimism and enthusiasm in their hearts at all times. Tomorrow is a new day to live, love, kiss, and hug. I can dream again. My destiny does not live in today's reality, yesterday's mistakes, or tomorrow's choices, but in my energy's pathway through the future. I perceive a perfect perspective of perfection, and I'll probably polish this impulse with daily nourishings until my demon bites have downsized and the scars fade ever so faithfully. I can accomplish anything I've come this far. Skin back to normal, claws are sharpened, I plan to devour my demeaning demons from here on out without any doubt. One love. <laughs>